Alright, welcome to the two. My name's Marge. I'm the Hillcom Wise Clown. <laughs> the clumsy ass Wise Clown. <clears throat> I tell you what. I don't know how people that. I don't know how you. I have a hard enough time without it. But. <clears throat> Man. Divine. Divine timing, divine instances, divine, divine, divine. It's all so funny. Has a sense of humor. I am slow. I'm about as slow as slow as gear I could go. Two things. This guy. So, well. Sometimes I slip into it. I don't even know. My little girl, Lou. She sleeps in, Lou, in the living room. She uh, she and Tucker when they wake up and they direct on each other and she has a jagged tooth from her life before when years of abuse it broke her she has a jagged tooth so when she wakes up and doesn't know where she is she directs so me and all my infinite wisdoms <laughs> looked down she was sleeping on the chair and then she looked down and she had a nail on the back on her foot that was getting too long so. They're, there's, they're not so cooperative with the nails. <laughs> I freaking bent down to trim it because then she wouldn't fight me. And, she, uh. and you know what the kicker of it is? <laughs> what is it? Pluto conjunct with what, your sun and blah blah. The astrology, there's just entirely too many aspects to keep track of. I won't do it. I can't. But I do know I was forewarned that yesterday it was like take it easy <laughs> you could get hurt <laughs> and then after getting through a really really long week like energetically taxing dude just God, sucked emotional roller coaster just up and down I, I gotta be on and then I gotta recoup and then I gotta be on and then I gotta recoup <sighs> I'm not taking two dogs to the bed at one time anymore either. That has a freaking anxiety self and it's attacking itself. The little nurse lady, the helper lady. I've had teachers tell me this. I've had people put in my life along the way. They used to, they're earth angels because they recognize things in people and they're not afraid to, to have a human connection with you. It's what I do. And every now and again, I need it. Bet I needed it. I was holding Benny for his ears, and he just cries, and it freaking tears my heart out. And so I'm holding him, and she comes in, and I don't know, maybe Dr. Steve went and told her she went and got her, but she's like, "You want me to hold him?" I'm like, "No, I got it." And I'm like tears through my eye. I'm just. She's like, "Do you need to sit down?" And I said, "No." I said, "I think I'm all right." I didn't lock my knees. I learned a long time ago, don't lock your knees. Because I see these chumps, they always say, don't lock your knees. And there's always somebody in the flight that does. And then passes out. You know not to do it. And then you find yourself doing it. Which is kind of funny, because that's where society has gotten us today. <laughs> so that was that. And then I laid down to go to sleep after... <coughs> having a nice evening, 111. Made it through this week. Things are looking up. I'm not just telling myself this. I'm actually seeing evidence of it. And I freaking, I'm laying on my bed and I didn't even hardly freaking move in this freaking, in my lower back. It just, I just felt a wrench. It just, a, uh, and I was like, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm laying there, I'm in trouble, yo. But it was at bedtime, right? But it sucked, because there's nothing I could do to get comfortable, and I did, and it hurts. Like, so, like, using stomach muscles and stuff fucking hurts. <laughs> I'm laughing, because I feel like an old lady, and I'm not. It's like, how can you feel like an old lady and feel like a 15-year-old all at the same time? So I'm not going to do, do anything too strenuous today. It's a trip. Okay, I got to talk about this because I freaking hadn't mentioned it. 
I, would, I looked it up a few days ago. This is just interesting. More stuff. I like to look for pieces. You know, I'll just sit here and I'll get an idea and I'll go on a tangent. See where it leaves me. So when I was at, <clears throat> stationed at Offit. Dude, they, they, I don't know. Is OPSEC even still a thing? You know, with like Google Earth and stuff like that. I mean, it's like, there's no secure. It's just weird. I don't know. It's The times are different. So it doesn't really, I mean, if you're going to put your shit out there, you might as well just not have, like, TSA and stuff anymore. Keep those businesses closed. You guys freaking say you're putting more money into it than what you're giving the employees anyway. It's just all freaking resource sucks. You're all liars and shit. So when I was at Offit, we have patches. And I'm big on patches because they represent what people, people show us who they are. We just have to pay attention. Yeah. yeah. So... One of the patches, one of the the wings, is the is it still there? The fifty five five seventh weather wing. On their patch, it says this. On the, this is their little patch, and it says I'm not, I don't read Greek. Or this isn't, La it's Latin, it's not Greek. I was in the 55th Maintenance Support Group. Yes, that's where I was. As a mechanic. I was born a mechanic. I break things just as good as I fix them, but I don't need instructions for Ikea furniture. It's one of the things I do. Um, the weather wing doesn't, okay. Anyway. Weather. Weather is... I can off it got weather today. I think they got a few inches here and there. I saw one one of my buddies. She got like six, but she lives south and I... Oh, yeah. I, I hurt my back. That's what I meant to say. Uh, did I finish that? Okay. So, coelium ad proleum elise. C-O-E-L-U-M space A-D space P-R-O-E-L... I U M space E L I G E. I was like, huh. Well, I don't speak Latin. I wonder what that means. So, I opened another window. Ugh. C O E D. I already lost it. Stupid windows. Anyway, I'm gonna find it because I don't care how long it takes because this is just so freaking funny. It's just so funny because they tell us who they are. Oh, wrong window. Okay, I'm gonna look it up over here. It'll just be easier. So we got C O E D. My bad, C O E E L. Clemium add. And add the rest. P R O. Proleum liege. And what it means is it's the motto. And it means choose the weather for action. I select, I select the weather for battle. <laughs> so, I wonder if bio-weather engineering is really a thing. Mass Dane, Winking Dean, I bet he agrees. So all that for that. So that's just interesting. Why would a patch say that if they didn't mean it? I control the weather. They've been doing it since Vietnam, even before that. It's just chest. That's all wars are. It's just they're. We are just pawns in a big game of Richmond. Did you ever seen Trading Spaces? God. Kids don't explore enough. They don't. I hope they come back to it. Oh, mind the dip. Um, this is just redundant information with the uh, astrology and that's the thing don't feel bad for fucking sh bad shit that happens to people that's what they are get this I didn't let the lion dog lay 
It's what I get. There are other ways I could have done it. I wanted to control the situation by handling it how I thought it was best without doing what's good for her, knowing that with her how she reacts. This is what I get. We get our karmic retribution. People are getting what, and this, don't freaking bail out. The, dude, people in the military are trained not to. You have a society that is built on kids that have left their home. More people join the military because they don't have anything to do. I did it. I was just 26. I was just late. So, you, you know, you get put a gun to kids in a position where you give them some freedom. Not too much. Not too much. But just enough. And you give them a paycheck and they just start buying whatever they want. Right? Yeah, toys. Fill up those empty holes. You know, we're conditioned to fill empty with external things. And it doesn't work anymore because that's not what the spirit is intended to do. So we're fucking bailing out people for freaking dude. Unless you're going to bail out any, everyone. You know what I mean? That's the stuff. There are plenty of other people that have freaking had their town houses burned down, lost their family, have all these other things besides just being on a paid furlough from the government. Did you go to school while you were doing that? How, you know how many military members don't use the education system at all? You just sit at a desk or a freaking turn a wrench. The same wrench is doing the same procedures. Robots can do it. You know? So, whatever happens to people, they're getting their just desserts. Just be glad for people when the good stuff happens to them. Yeah, just focus on that stuff. Quit looking at the lizard dark shit, dude. Know that reality exist don't make it bigger and create it and make it significant to you i hope you have a rad day peace Ugh.